Leah Block, heiress to the late great Ken Block, could be the next big thing in rally racing. She got her drag license even before she got her learner's permit, which seems as insane as washing the dishes before putting them in the dishwasher or something. So in reality, she could drive the 1400 horsepower unicorn Mustang on a track, of course, but not a Honda Civic to school. In all fairness, maybe a speed demon shouldn't be driving in a school zone. But Leah has everything she needs to succeed at the surreal level. She started racing at 11 years old. FYI, Lewis Hamilton started racing at five with RC cars. Look at those eyes. Look at them. So focused. Hope he wins at least one in 2023. Leah has been building her depth perception skills and in-practice understanding of angles through her teen years in the Lucas Off-Road Racing Series, and while training at Dirtfish and Team O'Neill rallying schools. And it looks like, just like her daddy, she can handle the fame. Is, is this your first autograph? No. <laughs> KB wore 43, his favorite number as a kid, and Leah wears 57, which we can assume is her favorite number. I agree with you, that was not insightful. Leah Block has the laser cut keys to the Hoonigan fleet and the drive to be queen. I want to go fast. <laughs> and you want to go fast. <laughs> as well as a Fox Body Stang and an 85 Audi Quattro. Michelle Mouton would be so proud. She's absorbed racing culture at the DNA level because her pappy started racing only a year before she was born. And her mama Lucy is a rally driver as well. Little girls usually take after their daddies. And like Venus and Serena, Leah Block could potentially bring her father's vocation to an even wider audience. Why did and do the racing world and beyond love the Block family so much? Let's pass the alley to Maya Angelou on this one. At the end of the day, people won't remember what you said or did. They will remember how you made them feel. Well, I don't know about that, because Ken did a lot. Like, a lot. Enough to make Tom Cruise jealous. I don't know if I'll ever forget this. Or that. And Ken also said a lot of inspiring and insightful things. Every time that we do something, I, I say, I don't know how we're going to do better than this. But maybe that's just the tail end of it. The body is that he had the kind of superstar spirit that made us feel things through him. I mean, we saw this guy start a new career at an age when many people find changing yogurts difficult. And he committed wholeheartedly. People all around the world mourn the death of the king in so many different ways. And it's because the block man filled us with the drive to do something. The true definition of inspiration. Let's be honest, it's still early. At the time of writing, Leah's only 16 and of course, still mourning her father's death. Right now, fellow madman Travis Pastrana, who actually introduced Ken Block to the sport of rallying, is currently the face of the Jim Connor series. Last seen shredding the pavement in a Subaru wagon not long after going in a jackass type base jump stunt gone wrong in Fort Lauderdale. Travis could take a mantle as big as Ken's, but in my opinion, he's a little all over the place. He just raced in the Daytona 500 for some reason. Why? why? This, that's my question. Wait, just why like, not? Just why? <laughs> Who knows what this guy will do next? Leah, on the other hand, has the Hoonigan legacy on her shoulders and in her eyes, and seems a little more focused on slipping and sliding around tracks. And she now has her driver's license and could legally do the next Jim Connor.